lot of utility though being thrown into the site. Can't quite find the mark and he'll be traded. That's not good enough. That P90 getting activated just for a second. Leo Drunky dropped. Nathlight trying to escape. He's got two so far. He's bought some time for Liquid. Still alive for now, but there we go. Now Mayen is with Exit versus Chewy. Position unknown. Got to be careful about this jump. I don't think he can do it without making a sound. Got to pick his timing well. Or the footsteps. Almost, but not quite seeing the head. Oh, he does cut up there quietly. It is possible. But he'll be spotted. Maybe there was a sound. Not so sure. Another round in the bag for Sharks. It's looking good so far on the T side again. And up two. At what point does somebody turn around? Oh, that's awkward. Leo lining up the shots. Oh, there's one. There's two. Marvelous stuff from Nathlight. Exploiting information from earlier on. And Stewie's picked up a Krieg and he will wreck house. Two versus one now. Mayan has to speed up. This is colossal failure from Sharks. Stewie's the only person with a rifle. And Leash could choose to engage first if it all works out. A bottle rolls down the ramp. The bomb in the middle of the ramp. And Stewie will finish off the job. Three kills for him. But again, Nafly. The information we did note it earlier when he went down the ladder and flanked. His timing was absolutely perfect. Wasn't too concerned with the deployment of the grenades. Almost didn't get a second frag though. If he, yeah. if he doesn't get two there, then who knows what happens. <laughs> that is a stolen round. Yeah, and like you're saying, the timing there too. They act He's been pretty scary with some of these positions. Will they check for it though? I mean, I mean this must be very spray sprayable. This is a hard one because he's just standing behind it, unlike being trapped around the corner, standing on the wires. Three versus three. Minutes on the clock. Very different pace for Sharks, but there's some variants being invited. Leo. Oh, the spray. Nitro to 14 HP. Didn't hear the connection, but he's still looking, actually, so perhaps he did. Twist now. One versus three. He's definitely capable, be it with a rifle or a pistol. They don't know where he's coming. Keeps on taking B there, not having them all in the back of the site there. Since yeah. it is a very narrow choke point, one flash there really opens up possibilities for the CT. Nice entry. <clears throat> Just like that, it could all turn around. They shut it down as well, the forward position. And uh, Leo Junkies, oh, surely he's got that kill. My goodness, how does he not get a liege there? That is something going back the way of Liquid. That would have been terrible had he died, a liege that is, because then Liquid would be, would be 3v5. But instead, they have... A much more workable position and, and four versus four there. They are looking, I think, to commit towards A, keeping things simple. Unless there is to be a big rotation, but they have no presence anywhere else, so that is unlikely then. Smokes, mollies, keeping it simple. Yeah, that's a lot of space covered by that combo. Nacho looking for somebody, Nacho looking for somebody forced forward by the Molotov, but Sharks will fall back. They're still close to the site though, and the clock it continues to tick. Two smokes, two molotovs for Team Liquid. No one to make a play elsewhere. Sharks taking aggressive angles. Lucan waiting for a push. You can see he's got the shadow advantage once the T's come up, unless his position is on fire. And the smokes will isolate these CTs. Lucan's alone now. There's pop flash for a forward play. That's the bomb spotted. Great headshot. And that's going to be Mayan rotating as well. He's got some utility that will help, but the flicks with the AWP will do everything. A liege left for 20 HP. And there's another one from JNT. Awesome hold from him. A 4K in the round. And it's a ninth round for Sharks. A second round in a row in this half. I like this play from Lucan as well, but these, these picks were great. <clears throat> oh, I'd love to see that. Brazilian snipers, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious on the... Uh, on how, like, sensitivity dif uh, differentiates between regions, because that... And he was actually dead over in the middle, so... Look at moving over there instead. Only Leo, only Leo there. Again! Oh my god. Three for Leo. Looking for four. Close, but not quite. Elige with a lot to do. Gets his Barung down to two HP and then exploded afterwards. Nafly, one versus two. They don't know where he is. He could be on the flank. To make the play here from the tickets. With a sniper, always a good shout. And Naf indeed has nothing to fight with. He is alone. He's isolated. And Sharks are really playing methodically. This is looking great. Yeah, they're keeping it simple. They are not uh, having too many issues at the moment. Of course, it was a strong start for Liquid, but that has come and gone. Stewie trying to make a difference now. That is the opening frag. But how much does he commit to potentially losing the AWP? Maybe he's committed more than he realizes with the flank from Leo Drunky. He's got a player by the bench. That's Lucan. There goes Stewie in the AWP. 
twist with the scout is the last man standing now. You get to tag, but no frag. And there is the third round for Sharks by wipeouts. James, they're really good. They're, yeah, they're showing some promise. I'm they're pretty really sure good, this man. is the first game we've seen of them. Yes, it is. You and I. It's the first time we've casted them. Yeah. And they're really good. Three has the angle towards the bomb. Instant trade from JMT. A leech creeping with the smokes up. Surely they look elsewhere. And now it's the leech versus two. He's got a flank. He's waiting for the bomb plant. And it's going to be a free frag for him. There's the first one. A transfer, Elige. <laughs> he had his crosser at his feet and lands a headshot. That is how much he knows the spray of the Krieg from that distance as well. That is really epic from, from Elige. Yeah, and I'm curious how this is going to go now because... Uh, uh, <laughs> they're, they're quite the team. But they've got one more opportunity. Mayan starts things off well. Team Liquid trying to overwhelm. This is what worked for them yesterday, but it's not working versus Sharks. They are being eaten alive one by one. There is indeed blood in the water, Dan and Stewie. It will not last.